Yeah, we've got a pound of ground beef that I've browned mm. up. Keep that dirty bowl out because we're going to need it. Mm -hmm. One can of ranch style beans. Okay. I'm going to take one can of Rotel and I've got mild here. This is going to be a quick, easy dinner. Mm -hmm. I've got three tablespoons of taco seasoning that I'm going to season all this with. Oh, that looks nice. One can of cream of mushroom. And you could use cream of chicken. We're just choosing cream of mushroom just because we've been using way too much cream of chicken. It's getting gross. Yeah. So now you're going to take this mixture mm -hmm. and mix it up in your pan. So just get this nice and mixed. To, yes. Looks really, it looks pretty tasty, honestly. It don't smell bad either. This is called a, what's it called? A cowboy casserole or something? I believe so. I think that's what you said. Was some sort of, casserole. I think it's some sort of Mexican cowboy, Mexican casserole or something like that. And he's not wanting to wash dishes today. No, so we're doing everything in here. It's going to stay nice and easy for everyone. Yeah, because he said he didn't want to wash dishes. Mm -mm. All right, so that's good mix. Now we're going to take half of this and we're gonna scoop it out into this bowl. And so you'll see why we're doing this later. Okay, that looks about half. That looks like about half. Now we're gonna to wanna to get this kind of level back out. Spray it out with your little spoon. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah. Then we got some Mexican cheese. Okay. Just kind of get it nice and topped in there. Oh yeah, this is gonna be tasty. Now we're gonna take corn tortillas. Mm -hmm. and we're just gonna lay these down, correct? Yep, that's exactly it. It's kind of like, uh, what is that thing at Taco Bell people get? The Crunchwrap Supreme? I think it's gonna kind of turn into something like that. Okay, then we're gonna put what we took out mm -hmm. on top of these corn tortillas. Oh, okay, okay. Looking pretty good. Okay, I'm just take Sp them, spread this out so we can get them mm -hmm. all on those. This would be a fun thing to do with kids, you know, if you're trying to just be simple and whatever, have fun. You know, we're just trying to do fun things here. Cut the cheese, top it right there. And so you have the option of putting another tortilla on and then cheese. We're gonna go for it. Yeah, because I think that'd be really I good. I think, yeah, because then it's kind of like uh, that, uh, what is that thing with the tortillas and the cheese, or the tortilla the chips and the cheese? Oh yeah. The enchiladas are good. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I think the recipe calls for four cups. Okay. And so we put cheese in between. Now we won't put cheese all on the top here. Mm -hmm. We did choose a Mexican bag of cheese. Mm -hmm which is a variety of them. Yeah, this is gonna be tasty. Now we're gonna kind of press it down. Mm -hmm. And then we are going to bake this at 350 for- 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Yeah, it's gonna watch out for them puppies. We got plenty in here. How do y'all feel about dogs in the kitchen? We love if them. If they're dog lovers, they'll love it. Mm -hmm. 30. All right, let's see this thing. Ooh. Dang. Kimberly Lynn. That looks good and smells good. Y'all see how that cheese is all melted nice like? That's kind of what you want here. Just set it down. That's just raw meat. No, it is not. That looks he good. He loves to be silly. No, it's tomatoes, y'all. We literally just cut tomatoes. It isn't raw meat, I promise. Uh, I, does that look good? That looks so good. We got to cut this open and try it. Yeah. All right, yeah. let's try this thing. Oh, it cut perfectly. Yeah, spoon, so. So she's using a spoon right now, but that looks, this is, oh. That's kind of like one of those things that you just, you're just like that, that's amazing. You want me to try it or you want to try it? Uh, it doesn't matter. Here, I'll try it, I'll try it. It's still a little warm though. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. We're gonna try this thing. It's, what is this called again? The Mexican casserole. casserole. All right. We got a John Wayne casserole in the oven, so we'll let you know how this one is first. Is this one supposed to have jalapenos in it? No, it's the next one. Oh. I mean, you may want to add some if- You might add some jalapenos to this. This is so good. I don't do spicy, so that's why we didn't put it in that. This one. is so good. Like, 
I don't know what's happening with it, but it is absolutely delicious, y'all. Okay. I would I would make this tonight for your kids, for your grandkids, for your auntie, for your boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever you want to make. Sure. I know I don't have a big guy's audience, but I should because they can start cooking for their wives, wives. Or girlfriends, significant others. Mm.